Hey, automation enthusiasts, this is John Strauman from Microsoft's Mighty South region. We all know how important social media is in today's world. And when we talk about customer interactions, it's quite possible that if a customer is unhappy with your company services, they might not tell you, but they would very likely go to social media to report their displeasure. So what we've created today using the Power Automate and AI Builder is the ability to monitor Twitter for negative posts about your company and then create a case in Dynamics CRM 365 for customer service and also send an email to someone internally to alert them that, hey, a negative tweet has been posted. Please reach out to this customer to alleviate the situation. So what I did is I, I chose a, a I tried to choose a, a generic term that wouldn't offend anybody. So I chose beats. So we're going to post a negative tweet about beats, which hopefully won't um, offend anybody out there in the world. I, I didn't want to use any company names or anything to say something negative. So I'll just say something like I hate beats, which is true. I really don't like beats. And then I'm using the out of the box AI builder sentiment analysis, which will enable us to analyze the tweet. And if it's negative, and that's what this says, if the sentiment detected from this step here is negative, then we're going to go into Dynamics 365 for customer service and create a new case and set the priority to high. And then we're gonna alert someone internally that the negative tweet has been received and to take action on this case. And the benefit to customers here is that the Power Automate flow can automatically monitor Twitter and create use cases in your Dynamics 365 for customer services deployment. And then our customer service people can reach out to that customer and hopefully help them get through whatever the negative experience was, whether offering a, a, a solution or doing whatever they can to turn that customer from a negative experience to a positive one. So let's see this work. So I'm gonna click save. And to test, I'll simply test the click test button and enable the workflow. And then I'll post a negative tweet and we'll see what happens. So now our workflow is ready and enabled. So I'll go into Twitter and I will paste a negative tweet. I hate Beats, they do not taste good. Now I say that knowing that beets are supposedly a superfood and the health benefits probably outweigh the taste. But if you're like me, you hate the taste of beets. So we'll go back to our flow and we see the flow ran successfully. And so now I'll open up my email and I should have an email in here. Oh wait, that's the wrong email. Let's open up this one. So I should have an email saying that that negative tweet was detected. There we go. Negative tweet received. And you'll see that I, I said that I hate beets. They do not taste good. And now when I go to Dynamics 365, I should have a new case created. I'll just do a refresh. And there it is. There's our new case uh, created in our customer service hub. And so what we saw here is the benefit of using an automated worker. So a human is freed up from actually monitoring Twitter and finding these negative tweets. The automated worker does that. And then what the human can do is actually reach out and contact the customer. So we're freeing the human up from the administrivia of monitoring Twitter for these negative tweets. And we're enabling the human to just act on those tweets, to do the things that only humans can do, to reach out to the customer, to rebuild a damaged relationship, to offer a solution. So this is a, a really good case study of how Power Automate can take away the need for humans to do the kind of mundane work of monitoring the tweets and enable the humans to do the real relationship and human work that only humans can do requ requiring creative decision making and building those relationships. So hopefully you found this example very useful and look for more videos coming soon. Thanks very much.